Hi friends. Today I wanted to give you a small tour of our favorite camping place in Rapid City, South Dakota in the Black Hills. And I'm working on a video that I was going to tell you why it's our favorite camping place. With pictures of all the deer and the rabbits and the turkeys. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Daddy. What you doing today? I've been a coloring. You've been coloring? Yeah. Oh. And I've been a eating. Somebody took you to lunch. Yeah. Who was Jerry. that? Where'd you go? A taco house. Pancheros. What? Pancheros. Pancheros. What'd you have? I had a big honking burrito filled with rice. A rice burrito. A rice burrito. Yeah, if anybody That's from Pancheros is watching, yuck on the rice, rice burrito. Yeah. Too much rice. So, this, as I said, is our favorite camping spot in Rapid City, South Dakota. And... I'll be doing a video of more of a tour of it. Show them where the deer feeder is. Oh, I'm going to tell them about the deer in the next video. But today, I'm going to do something a little different. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. There's always this thing that happens when I transcend from my retired life in Ajijic, Mexico on the shores of Lake Chapala to my RVing life in the United States. And what happens is that I have a lot of viewers who have subscribed to my channel because you're interested in life in Mexico as a retiree and I enjoy making videos about that. I also have another uh, group of subscribers who subscribe to me because they liked my RVing um, videos. And of course I have the loyal subscribers who just want to know what's going on in the lives of Lynn and Jerry and we appreciate all three of you whether you're here because of being interested in living in Mexico as a retiree or interested in RVing in the United States or just like Lynn and Jerry, we do appreciate you all. But I am in the United States and I am in my RV, but I've always tried to make the point that just because I'm RVing in the United States for a month or two or three, I'm not forgetting what I know about my 18 years of living in Mexico as a retiree. So I thought I would make a video today about Mexico, not about this wonderful place called Rapid City, South Dakota. A month or two ago, I made a video about uh, reading the Guadalajara Reporter, which is a weekly newspaper that comes out and is distributed for sale at all of the public places like grocery stores in the on the north shore of Lake Chapala. And I kind of made jokes about, uh, well, this is going to be uh, probably not very popular <laughs> reading the newspaper to you, but it turns out that uh, I got about twice as many um, views on that one as uh, some of my others, so I guess people did like it. So when I came to the United States, I brought along with me two magazines that are widely distributed on the north shore of Lake Chapala, and um, I thought I'd talk about those today. One of them I've mentioned before, and I've mentioned it in many comments. It's called Point South, and it's basically a listing of all of the real estate 
uh, that's for sale in the Lake Chapala area. Uh, we'll go through and look at a few of these. You can get this online. Uh, I don't know if this is a current issue that I brought. I just grabbed it off of my desk. Um, oh, September 2019. It comes out every month and basically it's a venue for real estate agents to buy ads and show off the property listings that they have along with the prices and the pictures and I suggest that you go online to points there's no s point south point south chapala edition now they also have Puerto Vallarta editions and um, some others I'm sure but this is the one for Lake Chapala and let's just uh, look at a few of the ads up close um, Ahihik Real Estate that's the company through which I bought my properties and uh, let's see what we got here uh, Brisas Chapala this is an unfinished house it's a I guess that would be a fixer-upper. People ask me about, can they buy fixer-uppers all the time? Uh, the lot is uh, 5,027 square feet, which is uh, about the size of a standard lot in the United States. 50 by 100 would be 5,000 square feet. And uh, it's 49,400 US dollars for that unfinished property. Already has a wall already has a roof uh, let's see let's uh, skip the ones that are in pesos here's one San Juan Cosala lake and mountain views it's just property it's just a lot actually it's 282,000 square feet so it's a lot more than a lot and it's 8 million 550,000 US dollars has a beautiful view of the lake um, Ahihik village three bedrooms four baths right in the heart of the village three hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars let's see what if we can find one with the pretty picture what you need to know about this and the prices of real estate in the Lake Chapala area is that all of these realtors, and there are many, 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 many of them, will spend money to advertise their high dollar properties. They don't spend so much money to advertise the low end properties. And people are always asking me, well, can I buy a house for this? Or how much does a house cost? Uh, and then I'll refer them to this and they'll come back in a later comment and say, Oh my God, the prices of real estate in Ahihik are through the roof. Yes, there are million dollar properties. But there are also a lot of properties that aren't in that range, in the $100,000 to $200,000 range. And smaller properties uh, farther out from... Uh, location, 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 ground zero, which is downtown Ahihik. This one here is in uh, Hokotepec. That's uh, 12 kilometers west of Ahihik. It's uh, three bedrooms, two baths, one level, has a garage. Construction, that would be the house and the garage, 1,830 square feet. It's uh, 85,000 US dollars. There's a picture of it. And that's what I'm trying to, the point that I'm trying to make is that if you look at the real estate that's posted on the windows as you walk up and down Main Street, which is Cologne, in Ahihik, and look at the prices in the window, and you look at online publications about the prices of real estate, 
you're going to see what the realtors feel are their best advertisement for the money they spend to advertise and it's the high-end properties you will see in those kind of things but there are properties that are affordable not in downtown Ahihik if you want to live in Ahihik bring your money but three miles to the east six miles to the east six kilometers is Chapala much lower prices San Juan Cosala, Hokotepec, just to the uh, west, much, much lower prices. And the other magazine that I want to talk about today is the Ojo del Lago. This is also a monthly publication. Both of these are free and they're distributed. You see piles of them at the dentist or the grocery store, or the hardware store. Uh, they're for free. You just pick them up. Uh, supported by the advertising in them, so of course there's a lot of advertising in them. Uh, and again, uh, the Ojo del Lago has a lot of real estate advertising in it. But it also has advertising for many other things. And I'm just going to go through this uh, and see what we can find. They're building a Radisson property here very high-end condos uh, Caldwell banker real estate on the back here 599,000 for that one and then you go to um, Aguas Escondida that's a little farther out again but private lifestyle um, big terrace Lake view, huge yard, grill, front yard, airy and well illuminated, 10,000 square foot of construction, that's the house and patios and whatever, $148,000 US dollars. It's that yellow one right there. There are houses in all price ranges. And by the way, I'm not a realtor, <laughs> so if you have questions about real estate on the shore of Lake Chapala, Google this Point South magazine and get the contact information for a realtor and ask a realtor. I'm not a realtor. This publication, the um, Ojo de Lago, is full of articles written by um, mostly expats. The um, Lake Chapala area um, expat community has a lot of retired people with many, many, many different life skills that they have brought along with them. And even though they're retired, they still know how to write articles about their expertise. So, a lot of this is about um, literary articles written by expats. Let's just take a look at some of them. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, read you the table of contents and that'll be better than going through it. Uh, travel, the final part of Gabriela Blair's A Tourist in Russia. An article about that. Uh, humor. Maggie von Ostrand remembers how her maid here in Ahihik was once firmly convinced that President Barack Obama was part Mexican. Poetry. Judy Dykstra's Dude, bit of a tongue twister there, Judy. Judy Dykstra, Judy Dykstra Brown's poem about the radically changing view that most of the world now has of the United States. Anthropomorph anthropomorphism. Sidney Gay's fascinating look at how so many animals often exhibit human traits. A book review. Alice Hathaway's review of the now famous book House in the Sun, which was published way back in the 1950s and is one of the very first books ever set entirely in Ahihik. And I read that and uh, it's very interesting about 
how it used to take a long, long, long time to get from Chapala to Ahik because it was a dirt road and you had to navigate the uh, gullies where they might be washed out from the rains. Or you could take a quicker route, which was a boat, and <laughs> just come down along the lake. Um, it's written by a guy who lived in Ahihik, and it's his experiences with his Mexican friends and his uh, Mexican help in his house, and it's an interesting read. Uh, there's uh, articles in the editor's page about a bridge by the lake. Um, if our pets could talk, what would they say? Profiling Tepewa, that's a local Indian uh, community. Uh, Welcome to Mexico, Life of Skew, Lakeside Living, and Mexican Grace. Well, let's see what else we got here. See what grabs my attention. You can go on a home tour of all of the houses. And that's not... Uh, and that's not just a real estate tour, it's an interesting tour of nice homes. Uh, Mom's Restaurant in Delhi, love that place. Restaurant that's been here for a long time. Jungle of Stone, the true story of two men, their extraordinary journey and the discovery of a lost civilization of the Maya. Uh, travel Club, Charter Travel Club. Tours to Carretero, Carretero, Guanajuato, Puerto Vallarta, Decameron, Bucerias. Lots of ads from doctors and uh, all kinds of doctors, from neurosurgeons to plastic surgeons. Um, spring Rain at Maple Grove, a novel by Linda Steele. Bridge by the lake. I'm not a bridge player, but that's something about competitive bidding is often the most exciting part of duplicate bridge. People ask me if there's any available bridge playing there. Yes, there certainly is. There is available almost anything you can imagine on the north shore of Lake Chapala about an activity or a hobby because we have so many retired people with different interests. When I was first down here, I went to the fishing club, the riding club, the chess club, the pinochle club. There's a club for everything. A lot of them are centered around the Lake Chapala Society because that's where they meet, but a lot of them are centered around other things too. The Garden Club. I went to the Garden Club. Trips Burgers. Trip Bacon Double Cheese Burger Chili Cheese Fries. International Insurance Services. Lakeside Friends of Animals. Uh, Dr. Ben, Plastic Surgeon. Copper Canyon Tours. Uh, Monday, October 14th, Canadian Thanksgiving Day, 195 pesos for turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, green beans, cornbread, dressing, sweet potato, cranberry sauce, and no reservations required at Panino. Panino is a great restaurant. I want to say that I go to lunch at Panino's and it's the best service of any restaurant I've ever been to in the world. And here's why. Because... If you haven't been to Mexico, you don't know this, but if you have, you do certainly do know. You are never brought a check in Mexico at a restaurant until you ask for it because it's considered impolite to rush you. Unlike some restaurants I've been to in other countries where they want to rush you out and get the next people in there. And if you're really curious about a story about that, I'll tell you one from St. Gertrude's, one of the finest restaurants in Copenhagen. But that's another story. Um, and the bill was $680. That's also part of the other story. Anyway, at Panino's, if you make the slightest indication of being ready for your check, 
which is necessary or you'll never get your check. The waiters have some kind of, I don't know if it's psychic or it's a secret code or what, but you can ask a waiter over in this part of the restaurant, any waiter, not just your waiter, and immediately somebody will come out of the room with a check. They communicate. Anyway, best service ever. Paninos. Insurance. Auto repair. Health side. Lakeside health specialists. Doctor, 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 doctor. There's a nice looking place. Casa Fiesta, the ultimate luxury home in Upper Ahihik. $895,000. Ah, discount hummingbird vases. Interesting. Duke's Legacy. I think we've all had the experience of accidentally switching the beginnings of two words with ludicrous results, but I have to tell you my favorite. A story about such an occurrence. Uh, Lakeside Little Theater, New Season. Um, What's playing is Lewenberg, The Real Inspector Hound, 20th Century Blues, My Fair Lady, The Actress. You can volunteer um, to work at the theater um, as a stagehand or helping build scenery or making costumes or acting. And uh, they do quite professional uh, presentations. Fiera Maestro del Arte. There's a big uh, art show that goes on here. And this is an uh, ad for an art studio. And down at the bottom of the page, check out that steak. I've eaten that steak. <laughs> it's the best steak at Lakeside. Deshante. And Lago, uh, La Jolla del Lago. Let's see, what else we got? Some people ask me about, do you have solar energy? Yes, we have a solar energy company, solar energy. Do you have US health insurance? Yeah, you can get it. Oh, people ask me all the time about uh, moving. Here, Nomad, how does local and national moves work? Call us and book a consultation. And there's another one called uh, Strom White. You can Google them. Uh, Lakeside Health Specialist. Window Plast. Doors and Windows. Who's on first? A play about Abbott and Costello, a show. Mosquito control. Want to enjoy your outdoor space without mosquitoes? Good idea. Stren, Electronic Solutions, Hotel Perico. <laughs> this would be a note in editing. The sun has moved and is now shining on my camera, which I didn't realize until I was editing it. So the video begins to look faded. That's what's going on. A uh, furniture store. U O U. I don't know how to say that. Ooh. I've been in that furniture store. It's got furniture. Very nice furniture. A B. Uh, from aging to saging. I completed an eight-session class recently called Aging to Saging. <laughs> the, first time, the first time I read that. Get out of here, B. Adios. The first time I read that, I read it as Aging to Sagging. Never mind.
tequila on your own how to go see the town of tequila without a tour rambling from the ranch you know it's a place where they do uh, spay and neuter of animals run by volunteers a crossword puzzle septic tank pumping <laughs> I'm going to need that someday. I have a septic tank. Uh, Nonprofit organizations. I counted these. There's 82 of them. And I just picked out some that I'd read to you. Um, the Ahik Quilt Guild. I picked that one because somebody asked me about quilting. Um, the Ahik Writers Group. <clears throat> The American Legion, Chapala Post 7, um, Ahihik Post 9, the Ahihik Masonic Lodge, Chapala Sunrise Rotary Club, the Culinary Arts Society of Ahihik, the French Club, the German Club, the Garden Club, Hash House Harriers, Have Hammers Will Travel, Lake Chapala Birders, Lake Chapala Genealogy Forum, Lake Chapala Shrine Club, Lake Chapala Friends of the Animals, Lakeside Little Theater, Lakeside Wildlife and Rescue and Rehabilitation, uh, the Mariposa Project, Butterflies in Mexico. Lynn did a, a help count the butterflies a couple of years with the Butterfly Club. Uh, the Royal Canadian Legion. I guess if you're Canadian, you know what that is. And the Veggie Growers Club. Yes, we have organic veggies at Lakeside. Hardware and construction materials, garden and soil deliveries. That's another thing about uh, if you go to the plumbing store and you want to buy a hot water heater and you got a little car, they'll bring it to you. As a matter of fact, most any hardware store or plumbing store or furniture store even up in Guadalajara which is an hour away will deliver for a nominal charge I bought two um, patio chairs up in Guadalajara and they delivered them to Ahihik for an well extra I had to do a voiceover for this part because the audio was totally wiped out by a big wind gust well, but what I said was, the Ojo I hope Lago. if you're thinking about living on the and North Shore uh, of it Lake says down here Chapala, that this page, might help you understand that it is not money a third world buy. country. They're free. Thanks for watching. Every month. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.